Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, glad to be back with another video. Uh, I guess I want to get everyone up to speed on what I'm doing uh, while I've been gone and stuff like that. So as you may notice, uh, I kind of stopped doing videos. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, which some of you might, some of you won't, uh, I actually changed jobs. Uh, so I used to work for a company called uh, DMG. And at DMG, I used to do uh, F-Sharp software uh, in an event source system. It was actually, uh, you know, I learned a lot. I met a lot of good people. Um, and essentially when I was there, I was kind of experiencing the benefits of event sourcing and kind of uh, CQRS type of style of applications. And one interesting thing happened is like, I kind of got, uh, not that I wasn't introduced to blockchain, but I guess I was reintroduced to blockchain in a completely different fashion uh, that I was before, more focused on uh, developing decentralized applications, not so much like the cryptocurrency aspect, but more the infrastructure that you can build applications off of. And I guess from there, I kind of learned more and I was more interested uh, in a lot of the things. So I kind of pivoted and I wanted to study uh, how to develop apps on the blockchain and why you'd want to do that, what are the differences, uh, pros and cons and stuff like that. And so that's kind of what I've been doing right now. Yeah, so now I work on a product called uh, Bola Banker uh, or Bola Network as a network protocol. And essentially uh, what's interesting is how this app is built is completely event sourced on Ethereum. So one of the reasons I'm back making videos is since I've been learning a lot about uh, the blockchain and different networks and stuff like that, uh, I kind of feel like I was misrepresented what like the crypto world kind of was, you know, it's like I always see like NFTs and stuff like that and whatever. And I always felt like, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I don't see like the total value of it. Um, and so I was only presented that perspective. But when I got to learn more about it and what it can offer uh, and stuff like that, especially in the context of developing apps and, uh, and uh, you know, software and actually usable tools for people uh, because that's what uh, like interests me more. I don't really like, it's great, you know, making money is great and stuff like that. And, uh, but the, the advantages of building decentralized applications uh, quickly be, became obvious to me, uh, especially from a technical aspect, not that I'm going <laughs> to argue that the, you know, it's way less performant from, let's say, uh, you know, what we would call a web two solution where you'd have like your back end and stuff like that, uh, that you'd be totally in control of. And, you know, maybe a database and stuff like that, obviously, uh, since it's like decentralized, a lot of people have to do the calculations. It's very distributed. Uh, and so it's not necessarily the performance aspect, but the kind of change and shift in governance and, uh, total, like replacing new finance protocols is kind of interesting to me. Since, you know, uh, and this year, everyone know like inflation's crazy and stuff like that. Uh, and I don't want to like go too like in depth in like the uh, economy side of things because I'm not a, not an expert. I'm not going to, not going to pretend to be, um, you know, but what's interesting is I always felt it'd be a great idea to have, uh, currencies that don't like inflate too much. Uh, and so like you look at the US dollar and the Canadian dollar and stuff like that uh, after this year, uh, you know, because of you know what, uh, you know, a lot of the buying power in a lot of many places have uh, gone down. Uh, there's a lot of money printing and stuff like that. Um, and it's kind of interesting to in think about uh, deflationary assets or assets that don't inflate. And, uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be fun to be able to, be able to use this money in day-to-day -day life, like, uh, you know, going, uh, purchasing products, using services, getting invoice, getting paid and stuff like that. And, you know, I always thought about, you know, this idea of cryptocurrencies might be interesting, but we definitely need all the tools and infrastructure to make it happen. And the other big problem is, uh, the energy consumption problem, which, um, you know, now learning more about the 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 downside of and I don't want to like go too much in depth into this video because I want to make more videos and talking more about each of the specific parts of the blockchain it's it's pros and cons and and uh, my views on it I guess I'm trying to I, what I want to do is bring a layman perspective 
uh, like I was doing in F-sharp, I was kind of trying to explain F-sharp in a very simple terms and make tutorials because I, I thought that there wasn't really good tutorials out there, uh, F-sharp wise, to get started and, and, and to learn its, its basics, why you'd want to use F-sharp and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed that. And, to, and uh, I still love F-sharp, by the way, even though uh, I'm kind of transitioning, it's not like F sharp is like still my favorite language and stuff. It's just uh, this, you know, at the end of the day, F sharp is a, a tool in a toolbox um, and functional programming is as well. Like what, what's great about F sharp is a mixed programming model. So you can like use objects and you can have a lot of functional tools. And at the end of the day, it's what's cool about it. Um, and so I still love F sharp and whatever, uh, but this kind of new uh, strategy to build apps and uh, to use currency is kind of interesting to me. So I'm just kind of falling to that path. Um, so yeah, my goal of the channel is to make uh, videos and kind of dismantle a lot of uh, the, the conversation around crypto right now. Like uh, I posted on Twitter uh, that I was going to transition from, you know, F-Shard development to uh, blockchain application development. And uh, I felt a lot of resistance of like, oh my God, uh, you know, monkey NFTs and uh, just, just like uh, gambling casino kind of uh, crypto stuff. And it's not really about that at all. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very interesting platform to have apps and it does have, uh, you know, pros and cons. Uh, and so, yeah, I want to open up the discussion about it in a rational way, not trying to uh, just push some narrative, but just be a strong man case for blockchain application development. And so that's what I want to do with the videos. And as for what I'm doing in my, you know, day job life, uh, I'm working with the team, uh, at bullet network, uh, which actually it's uh, archi token, but the product we're developing is called a uh, bullet banker. And essentially what we're doing is we want to bring credit and uh, invoices on the blockchain. So on the blockchain, you can send money to people. Um, you know, that's kind of the, the core uses is you can send money between the two wallets and stuff, but there's no way to really represent uh, debts or credits uh, on the blockchain. And that's what we're doing at, uh, at Bullet Banker. And what's interesting, like I said, one of the things I, I think really is really needed in the space is ways to use cryptocurrency. So the closer we are to purchasing products and services and getting paid with uh, these digital assets, uh, I think the more you can start to imagine if uh, you know using cryptocurrencies as a uh, as a as a currency is a good idea. And so I wanted to be part of that space. So that's what what I'm doing here. So uh, it's actually pretty fun to get paid uh, via cryptocurrency. Like uh, we we use our own product to get paid and stuff. And I'm pretty excited to, uh, yeah, also be part of that team and uh, learn more about uh, blockchain application development and stuff like that. And so, yeah, in the next few videos, we can expect, you can probably expect, uh, and I know I'm really bad at promises because uh, I kind of said I was going to be doing streams and stuff. So, do you mind just hold me accountable? I'm going to try to promise some stuff, but... Uh, um, you know, it's time consuming to make videos, uh, if you, if you haven't known that. Uh, so enough of the excuses, uh, I want to bring out at least a video a week and it's going to be very, uh, high level videos about generally the blockchain, the ecosystem, uh, how it works. We're not going to go too much into depth for now. I just want to handle, uh, like the common objections and just the, you know, trying to make the best case for it. Because a lot of people like would, would get just get their information from a, a critic, so it's it's good to balance both. Someone who's like, uh, will give the best arguments defending this technology, and then you can also listen to the critics that will give the the best counter arguments for that technology, and then from there you can make your own decision uh, about how you feel about it. Uh, that's how we go about it. So um, yeah, uh, excited to be back on YouTube behind the camera. A little bit camera shy, but uh, hopefully this goes well. So thanks for watching. Um, I actually don't really do any consulting anymore. Uh, so that part of the outro is gone. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. And if you have any 
uh, things you want me to talk about, about uh, uh, you know, blockchain specific networks and, and any questions or any objections you have that you want me to address in uh, future videos, uh, make sure to leave a comment. I'll read those. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.